Hey guys, um, today's video is going to be a little bit different to what we would normally do. So, we've been given a headlamp to try out and they want us to do a review on it. So, rather than just sit here and be like, yeah, this thing's awesome, this is its features, this is what it does. I want to try and do something different with it. So, I was reading the box on it and it says that it's waterproof. Um, but not just any waterproof it's got an ipx rating you can submerge this thing apparently so i asked them i was like what's the deal with this and they've turned around and said that yes it can go up to two meters for 30 minutes so i was like that's enough time for me to dive for crabs after dark in the river for it so that's the plan um i think that's about as good a test as i could ever come up with for a headlamp is swimming around in the water with it for half an hour so this is what we've been given. This is what we've got. It's an Olight Perrin. Um, pretty nifty little light. This is it. Little angled light. Comes with a strap to turn it into a headlamp, which handy for us. Real different thing. Mounts to the strap as a headlamp, which I think is pretty bloody cool. So. With that in mind, I wanted to, before I go jump in the water with it, I want to make sure this thing's waterproof completely. So, let's, uh, let's check it out. I'm going to go take it, dump it in the sink, see if this thing runs underwater before I go jump in the river with it. So, got the old sink filled up with water, water in there. All right, let's chuck this thing underwater. So, that is currently running. Underwater, put it in turbo mode. So, whoa, far out, it's bright. So it's got a bright mode. All right, so, it's waterproof. That's the start. We have proved that this little guy is completely waterproof and we can submerge it. So, this little Olight Perrin, I'm gonna go take it down to the river tonight, um, try and catch myself a feed of crabs, do a catch and cook with some Swan River Blue Manor crabs. Pretty keen, first dive of the season for me. Um, I can't think of a better test to use for a, what we'll be using as a headlamp with a little strap. So I couldn't come up with a better test for something new than <laughs> using it underwater for a, a headlamp. So that is about as good as it's going to get. If you are like me, I've drowned a few headlamps, um, fallen over in the water, been dunked by big waves, had corrosion on things, things breaking, stuff like that and failing. So if this survives swimming with it underwater, I'm going to be pretty bloody impressed for a headlamp. So let's get down the river, give this a shot catch some crabs and I can't wait to make some chili crabs. This is gonna be absolutely so good. So, fingers crossed this one works out. Because I'm wearing my GoPro, I can't use the torch as a headlamp, so I've got a little lanyard and it's attached to my arm so I won't lose it. Just about ready to jump in the water. Water's cold.
Got my bag of crabs. There's five in there, that's our limit. These are gonna be some tasty chili crabs. Just got out of the water. I was in the water for just over half an hour. Uh, nah, a little bit longer, probably about 40, 45 minutes. So I've gone over a little bit on how long I was supposed to be underwater for with the torch, but I was just on the surface. It's certainly lived up to what they said it would do. So done pretty well. Pretty happy with it, to be honest. The tiny little torch, it's uh, done pretty good considering it was underwater pretty dirty water finding crabs so this thing certainly impressed with it super bright lasted long enough so yeah they've given us a discount code so if you guys want to check out these I'll chuck a link in the description um, below and there's a discount code as well if you guys want to pick one of these up for yourself so go check them out link will be in the description below so go check it they're pretty handy little things. Let's go cook these crabs up. Hey guys, in the kitchen now, ready to cook up our crabs. So we've got all our ingredients laid out there. I am not the best chef. I'm certainly not the best cook. Um, can get my way out of trouble, cook up a pretty decent feed, but I've got the help of Kepler from Coastal Fishing Mayhem, um, Mad Keen WA Fishos, himself and Matt, and Kepler is an amazing chef. So he's given me a recipe to try out, which I'm pretty keen to try. There's a big list of ingredients. There's coriander and I'm not keen on that. So that's, I'm gonna skip that bit and that can go. But uh, the rest of it sounds pretty good. So I'll chuck a link in to their YouTube channel down below. Um, we'll be doing some videos with them in the future. So check that out, amazing cooking stuff. Um, catching seafood and then cooking it up properly um, not just giving it a good old go the catch and cook like like I do but uh, we'll get into it get these crabs cooking can't wait to try this just chopping up some of the ingredients so we've got in a bowl here we've got garlic chili and ginger some spring onions heap of cherry tomatoes mint whoop, sweet chili sauce Fish sauce, tomato sauce, hoisin. Um, there's some water, and then the crabs, obviously. What else? He's giving me a big list of stuff. Like I said, I'm not adding the coriander. Not a fan, that's, that's not happening. So, there's some oil. You don't want coriander either, Steve? No. Nah. No coriander? Okay, we won't add it. It's all right. Steve doesn't want coriander either. He's spoken. Yeah, that's everything on the list. Just gonna add some salt and oil as well. So, I got my big pot. Let's clean these crabs. I'll run through that and we'll get cooking. I won't waste too much time. So, here's the crabs. Pretty easy to clean. On the underside, there's like a triangle. Lift that up, rip the back of the shell off. I'm doing this one handed because I'm holding my camera, so it is a little bit more difficult. Rip the shell off, clean out. I can see there for focuses. So there's little things called dead man's fingers, which is the, like their lungs. So you remove them and the brown gunk on the top. Give it a rinse. That's what you're left with, is clean crab. The rest is just shell and meat. So we'll break it up into a few pieces, take the claws and the bodies, do them all separately, and we'll put them in the bowl here. I'll get these cleaned up and show you what they look like in a sec. Got it all sorted now. So these are our crab bodies, just cut in half once they've been cleaned. There's all the claws. Let's get cooking. Chili, garlic, and ginger is cooked there. We add the crabs next. Yeah. 
them a good stir around. Cook them until they just start to go red. All right, starting to go a bit red there. So now we've got to add, there is, I'll add the sauces. So that's our sauces. There's sweet chili, tomato sauce, hoisin sauce, fish sauce, and water is what we're gonna add now. There's a lot of it. Down a bit, it's probably a bit hot. Get the last of the sauce out. Yeah, this lot, stir around. Now we've got all the sauces and the water in there. Let that simmer for a bit. Mate Kepler that gave me this recipe. I don't think Kep's gonna be too happy because I've kind of butchered it a bit. I've taken some stuff out because I don't want the coriander in. There's a couple of ingredients, I don't know what they are, I couldn't find. But I'm pretty confident that this is gonna taste amazing because that smells and looks so good. But I'm gonna get in trouble from the missus as well because I have made an absolute mess in the kitchen. There's stuff everywhere. But I don't really care because chili crab is gonna be amazing. Add tomatoes. Spring onions and whoa, big handful of mint. Give that a stir around in a couple of minutes, and we're done. Done. All done. Wish you guys could smell this because that smells so good. Um, I'm pretty, pretty stoked with Kep's recipe. It smells so good. It's probably gonna be the best chili crab I've ever had. So let's get this served up. Um, I can't wait to eat this. The missus was supposed to be home, but she's had to work late at work. So hopefully I don't eat it all myself and I'll leave some for her. Otherwise, she's not gonna be happy because chili crab is just too good. Going back to what this video was originally about was testing this little light, the Olight Perrin. Um, amazing little light. Proved itself underwater, collecting a feed of crabs. So if you wanna grab one of these for yourselves, jump on the link in the description below. There's a discount code there as well for you guys to grab one even cheaper. Pretty nifty little light. Can't wait to use it a hell of a lot more with the headlamp, as a headlamp with the headband. Um, awesome, awesome light. Rechargeable with a little magnetic base. Super handy. Like I said, I needed to find a way to test this thing rather than just sit down and do some boring review on what's good and what's not, what I think is great and what isn't. So. We took it underwater, it survived, caught us a feed of crabs, and I can't wait to dig in to this amazing looking chili crabs and fresh bread.